G'day you good motherfuckers, the Buttsman here. Hope you're doing real well. And this t-shirt is on sale, Peace in the Middle East. It went on sale on September 11th. I'm sure that'll go down very well. Ladies and gentlemen, vegans. Yes, a topic I've never spoken about. They're back in the news and it would be remiss of me, of course, once again, not to laugh at them. At this point, I think vegan, you know, creators, Instagrammers, YouTubers are household names because of me. Well, they're not in the house, they're sort of in the fridge in the veggie section, but they're household names nonetheless because of me. And I, in fact, I think more people know about veganism because of me. What a great deed I have done. But unfortunately for their movement, I think more people eat meat because of me which I'm happy about as well. Over the past, what, four years on YouTube, there's been a lot of vegans that have come across my desk. Like people like the gorgeous vegan Gaines. And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just wanna put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it. Then there was the wonderfully inspiring Durian Rider. Isaac Butterfield, he's taken the piss out of vegans. He says that vegans, can't be fit, I can't be lean. Ah, who could forget that vegan teacher? Rest in peace. Three, two, one, sing. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. And of course, the love of my life, vegan booty. To death, they thrashed yeah, so hard yeah. that their feet came off. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something outrageous. Vegan booty has finally gone into fucking national. This is the New York Post talking about her because she has teamed up with the biggest fuckwits of all time. The biggest fuckwits of all time. I cannot make that more fucking, they're the biggest fuckwits of all time. That's what I'm trying to say, all right? She has become one with Peter, okay? Which is horrifying. And I'll just like to point this out. I have had other vegans come across, you know, my vision, but ones that are so cringy that you'd never talk about them. So ridiculous that you get secondhand embarrassment just from watching their videos. I'm talking about you, herbivore hench. Hi, I'm Paul from Hench Herbivore. I make videos about veganism. Here is Australian comedian Isaac Butterfield. I do videos about veganism as well, except I can be a complete prick. Not happening, big dick. Fuck off. Come up with some good content and I might talk about you. Anyway, by the title of this video, you can see there's a lot happening here. But yes, Vegan Booty has joined PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Cows, or whatever it fucking means. And there was another story about a child dying because of a vegan uh, mother and diet. But you know, that's... I think that Vegan Booty joining PETA is the sadder of the two stories. So here's the article that really opened my eyes to Vegan Booty's life. And I think you'll enjoy it. OnlyFans activist Vegan Booty slams trolls saying she has a penis after a racy post. Oh wait, that's the wrong headline, sorry. <clears throat> vegan activist Tash Peterson, Vegan Booty, joins PETA for latest animal rights protest. And ladies and gentlemen, in exciting news on the Cancel Me Now podcast, Vegan Booty. Holy fucking shitballs. The link is down below to Cancel Me Now or just search it on Spotify or iTunes or on YouTube and you'll be able to watch it. So if you don't know who Peter is, they're just a bunch of fuckwits who do outrageous things. They talk shit about Steve Irwin. They blamed everything on everything and they're just fucking all right? They pretended to cook babies before. They're real fucked up pieces of shit. Anyway, this is what happened. Warning, graphic content. Notorious vegan activist Tash Peterson has taken part in a disturbing protest where she pretended to be a piece of meat. What type of piece of meat would vegan booty be? Probably a fucking testicle or something that Liver King would eat. Something gross. But yeah, she's playing a piece of meat. She's laying down on the sidewalk in the middle of Sydney in a plastic container like the meat is in the fridge and the freezer section at the local supermarket, pretending to be a piece of meat. Now it is a hard role to lay there and not do anything. And I spoke to her during the week about this and this is an exact quote. She said she had her inspiration for laying there doing nothing. She watched a lot of Stephen Hawking videos. So that was Really interesting to get into the depths of this thespian that is uh, vegan bootay. That's just rude, Tash. How dare you? Now, please, news.com, please give us this great story and tell us how Tash achieved absolutely nothing other than everyone just looking at her going, what the fuck is wrong with you? The Melbourne-based full-time animal rights activist. Well, she's not a full-time animal rights activist. She's a part-time animal rights activist and the other time she does porn on the internet. Slipped inside a human-sized meat tray. Imagine winning that at the pub. Alongside two other vegan activists in Sydney's Pitt Street Mall on Thursday morning. Slipped in with another two 
too. Is it like a sausage tray? That's exciting. Getting close with each other. The demonstration was designed to make pedestrians think twice about eating meat. In reality, they probably just walked past and thought twice about the mental capacity of this fucking idiot laying on the floor in a, what do you even call it? A meat container. You look at him and you go, Fuck's wrong with you? Did you not take your fucking meds this morning, you twat? Don't know why they're English, but they are, and they move on and go to work and probably have a steak sanger for lunch. They probably also thought, why am I seeing this young lady's weird shaped breasts on my way to work? Yes, we've all seen your OnlyFans and they are different. Working alongside international animal rights organization Peter, Miss Peterson lay nude inside a cardboard box covered in fake blood and sealed with a clear plastic sheet to mimic the packaging of raw meat. Tash, have you ever thought about the damage that you're doing to the environment by having all this plastic and cardboard around you, fucking criminal? The way you're going, mate, with these giant outrageous users of plastics, we won't have our grandchildren walking around this world laughing at people like you. And that's not a world I want to be a part of. Humans need to realise that while other animals look different to us, yes, they do look different to us, uh, they are the same in all the ways. Is that true? Are they really the same? Because, you know, ducks look a bit different to us. Are they the same as us? Because ducks actually have... Uh, have you ever seen a duck's penis? This is a photo of a duck's penis. Do you notice how it's really weirdly shaped? That is because the duck's vagina, the female duck's vagina, is also very weirdly shaped. It's like a maze. You don't know where you're going. It could be anywhere, right? Where do, how do we get to the fucking... Cervix! I don't know if ducks have cervixes. I assume they do. Anyway. The reason that is like that is because ducks rape other ducks. And so the female duck has all these twists and turns to stop the male ducks from raping them. But the male ducks have grown these big long cocks, like they're fucking huge, and they just swirl up there like a fucking Alan snake lolly trying to find this fucking duck cervix. Is that what humans are? Have we not realised we're all big rapist ducks? Is that what you're saying, Emily Rice? Peter, Senior Communications and Partnerships Manager. Fuck you to the moon, Emily. I am not a duck. But also, Emily, I guarantee you if I put you on a desert island for a couple of days, you'd start eating fucking animals. Or probably people, right? But because you have a supermarket with fucking broccoli, you think you're high and mighty. Suck us off. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the story ends. It just stops. The story ends there. Why? Because nothing happens from these protests. Nothing happens. Nothing. No one thinks any differently of eating meat or animals. They just look at these people and move on with their lives and laugh at them. In fact, it probably turns people against veganism. And this is my point that I'm, I really want to bring up with Vegan Booty when we do our podcast, is I think, like, I respect her for really believing in what she believes in, okay? And she's a nice person. I think that as well. But I think she's going about it the wrong way. Talking about people going about it the wrong way, here's how to kill your kid. Vegan mum gets life in prison for starvation, death, of son. Fuck me. That doesn't even, like, surprise me. A vegan woman convicted of murder in the malnutrition death of a young son was sentenced on Monday to life in prison, rightfully so. Sheila O'Leary, 38, whose family followed a strict vegan diet, was convicted in June on six charges, first degree murder, aggravated child abuse, aggravated manslaughter, child abuse, and two counts of child neglect in the death of her son, Ezra. Imagine being that brainwashed that you kill your child because you won't feed them fucking decent food, you Her husband, Ryan Patrick O'Leary, remains in jail awaiting trial on the same charges. Lock that up too. Investigators said the family ate only raw fruits and vegetables, although the toddler also was fed breast milk, which I assume that breast milk just tasted like watered down fucking almond milk. And they probably just started doing this after watching some dickhead on YouTube. Like tell them that, oh, this is gonna cure fucking ADHD and autism if you feed them fucking raw fruits. Fuck you, you brainwashed pieces of shit. This is like religion for people. And this is the whole hilarious thing. Like you'll see all of the same vegan people on the internet say the same thing. Oh, you gotta watch Dominion. You gotta watch Dominion. Have you watched Dominion? Please watch Dominion. That's their Bible. This is their religion. They're brainwashed. And they will not take any other information outside of their exact beliefs. And that is dangerous and disastrous for anyone in any part of the world with any beliefs, but particularly for people that are so fucking ridiculously controlled by the doctrine set out to them by all of these fucking billionaires that run the vegan industry. The 18 month old boy weighed eight kilograms when he was the fucking, when, fucking hell, when he died in September. That's awful. That's fucking awful. Anyone who forces a child, their, their child onto this diet, or their dog, 
they should be fucking, that's child abuse, that's animal abuse. Do, do it to your cat, no one cares about cats, fuck cats. But I don't even know what uh, a raw vegan diet is. Thankfully I have TikTok for that, so I looked it up and it's uh, like this. After teaching yoga, we hydrated with 10 pounds of orange juice stuffed with cherries. We went to the beach and enjoyed frozen durian. Later we had a colorful plate. Can you name all these fruits? Uh, how about fuck you? That looks like your dad packed your recess. Fuck that. I don't blame the kid. I would have starved myself as well. No fucking thanks, mate. But hang on. Oh, so am I being mean to these two raw vegans that are just trying to live their life? They don't deserve it. They do. They do fucking deserve it. Watch this. It's our normal. The woman's cycle is normal. Without it, I wouldn't exist. That's period blood. He's rubbing period blood on his face. Fuck you. Fuck the raw vegans. Fuck the vegans. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stints. Stints? Get this t-shirt. Goodbye. But the one group of people that get away with more than any other disabled group is people with Down syndrome. And I've seen this firsthand too. I, I picked my mum up, she had a car service, had to drop her home, right? I was driving her home, there was a bus shelter up the road, yeah? At that bus shelter was a couple, right? We get closer to this bus stop. As we get closer, we notice there's some hand holding, then there's a bit of a peck on the cheek, then there's some full on making out, then there's a hand on the thigh, then the hand down the back of the pants, then a hand down the front of the pants, then a hand on the tit, right? And mum turns to me at this point, my very religious mother, and says, Isaac, this is what happens when people don't have God in their life, okay? This is the disgusting shit that your generation's up to, all right? This is what happens when you send Tinder dick pics and dick pic Tinder pics and Drinder pics. And as we drove past, it, was, it turns out it was a Down syndrome couple. And in the same breath, mum turns to me and goes, oh, I love young love, I really do. 